Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. Today what we're going to do is we're going to SSH into a Linux Amazon EC2 instance from a Windows PC. So what we're going to do guys together is we're going to launch an Amazon EC2 instance. We're going to create user data. We're going to bootstrap the EC2 instance. So we're going to add a web server. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a key pair. We're going to talk about a public and private key. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use Windows to basically um, SSH or secure shell into that instance. We'll also mention um, the software Putty Gen and also Putty, okay, the, the client to allow access from the Windows machine to the instance. So uh, let's get started, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, as you can see here, I'm using my AWS Educate account. I'm going to go into running instances. As you can see, there's nothing running. I've kind of tidied up after myself and terminated any instances that I've previously running. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to select um, Amazon Linux 2 AMI. That's perfect for my needs. I'm going to basically select um, the T2 family. That's perfect as well, guys. I'm going to go off to the configure um, page, configure instance details page. I'm going to leave it in the default VPC. The D, it's going to choose a default subnet for me. I'm just going to ensure that I get an enable a public IP address to allow me to basically access this instance. Also, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this bootstrapping section. And what I'm going to actually do, guys, is I'm going to copy and paste over a bash script. Okay. Now, just, just one word of warning with this, guys. It is important to double check your bash script to ensure that there's no boo-boos, no little problems with the script, because again, getting something wrong in here could stop something working. So as you can see here, I've got a little bit of an issue. Can you spot it? Okay. Well, what's the issue? It's just here. I've got yum dash y. So what I need to just ensure is there, in order for this web server to run properly, I need to add a space in there. If I didn't add that space, potentially when I load up the instance, you won't be able to connect to the web server. It just won't run. So I'm gonna ensure that I've got the space there, guys. And just one, also just piece of extra information here, guys. Just be very careful when you're using this user data. Don't put in any clear text passwords or don't add in, for example, a private key here. Again, this isn't encrypted when you're when you're when you're putting this into and um, when you're loading this in. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next stage and um, storage. Storage is absolutely fine. I'm going to add a tag, so I'm going to add this. I'm going to say name. I'm going to say Greg's uh, Linux server is absolutely fine. I'm going to go um, configure security group, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new security group name. I'm going to call this Greg's. Linux SG and what I'm going to do guys is at the moment we can see we're allowing SSH secure shell traffic on port 22 from anyone in the world so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another additional rule guys with this time HTTP so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow HTTP traffic on port 80 to travel into this web server once I've added that I'm going to go review and launch and the last thing that we're going to need to do guys is we're going to need to basically specify a key pair to use and that's going to be very important for our needs in this particular example so again what we can see here you can see up the top it's telling us some really important information a key pair consists of a public key that aws stores and a private key file that you store so this is going to be really important so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new key pair i'm going to call it um, I, you can see it's it's basically these are ones that I've called before so you can see I've been doing um, some earlier testing here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this Greg's Linux service key pair um, final okay just for this demo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this PEM file to my downloads folder and you should see it getting downloaded and there it is guys and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ensure to launch my instance once I do that guys it should launch my instance for me. Again, I can see this by going to view instances. And what I'm gonna do in the background here, folks, is I'm gonna just move this PEM file, okay, that we basically downloaded just a moment ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move this into basically a different folder. So I'm moving it from my downloads folder here on my Mac into basically a shared folder that I've got with my basically virtual machine. 
because the idea or the, the objective for this particular tutorial guys is to walk through the steps using a Windows machine to basically SSH. So what I've got in the background here folks is I've got a VM, so let me just bring this up. Um, so I've got a Windows VM, so let's bring this into view now while that instance is loading on the AWS cloud. So you can see I've got an instance. What I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to open up my file explorer here on my virtual machine that's running on my MacBook. I'm using VirtualBox to run this. You can see it's a Windows to, uh, Server 2019. That's the end of part one guys. Join me for part two where we'll actually go and log into this instance using our putty tools. Okay, so please join me then. Thank you.